Now let's get more familiar with the OTC gateways by first going over the differences. The DH2 and DH3 have the larger Modbus holding register table size. The DH1 has two serial ports, the DH2 has one. DH3 has two serial ports that can be configured just with the Breeze software. The other two gateways require modifying the jumper settings. Only the DH1 is equipped with onboard IOs with four 1 to 5 volt analog inputs, two discrete inputs, and two discrete outputs. External IO expansion modules are available for use with all gateways. Only the DH3 is equipped with an Ethernet port and supports data logging and trending. Its trending data and device properties can be accessed remotely through its web server. Olium Tech offers an optional local LCD display for the DH3 that requires zero programming to view its Modbus registers and device properties. The DH3 is equipped with two USB ports for supporting added features in the future. It currently supports firmware upgrades using a USB flash drive. The DH3 is also equipped with a microSD card slot for accepting industrial grade cards for supporting data logging functions. The DH1 and DH2 are programmed over serial RJ45 connection. The DH3 can be programmed through its mini USB port or through the Ethernet port locally or remotely. As for the similarities, all gateways support 9 to 30 volt DC input power and are equipped with adjustable 1 watt max radios. They have the ability to support up to 63 nodes and the actual number of nodes supported will be based on the RF bandwidth and throughput depending on the transmission intervals, data packet sizes, and complexity of the networking architecture. They all support Modbus master and slave function. Multiple gateways can be added to a network to support more nodes and expand the size of the network providing high scalability and flexibility. All gateways in the same network can communicate with each other by sharing its points, its mapped inputs and outputs, and Modbus registers. All gateways are equipped with a hardware reset button and diagnostic LED or LEDs. Resetting the hardware will not affect the configured programming. Lastly, each gateway provides DIN rail mounting hardware.